Hey, what's up guys? It's TechSD with another video for you. In this video, we're going to really focus on how to disassemble and reassemble a Dell 780 computer. Now, in my previous videos, I actually show you how to upgrade and you can use those videos as a reference point. So in my instruction below, I'm going to put in a link that shows you all the properties of the insides of the computer and the different types. So if you want to add a video card or do any of those type of things, definitely read below. And keep in mind, because of the power supply, they're very proprietary in the Dell computers, it's going to be hard to change those out. So whenever you get a video card that has higher performance, it's something that's going to be hard to do on these kind of type of computers. Just letting you know up front. So without further ado, let me show you the video and let's get started. As you can see, the ventilation on this machine has a lot of dust in it, so your your performance of your computer is going to go down because your computer is not getting enough air. So let's go ahead and take the cover off. On the top here, we're just going to press and pull it hard, and then the side piece will come off. There we go. Now we can see all the goodies inside. So this unit, I took the RAM out, but I'm going to put it back in just to install some software. But I just want to show you what the inside of a 780 looks like. Now here you have the video card, you have a hard drive, you have the CPU below this ventilation, the CD-ROM, and the power supply. With this design, it's going to be almost impossible to change the power supply out. So for gaming and things like that, it's going to be very, very limited to what the capabilities of the computer are. So on the CD-ROM, we're going to pull this little tab up, and the CD-ROM is going to slide backwards. This is similar to the CD-ROM that's in the laptop. And then you just want to go ahead and pull the cables off. And put this to the side. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the hard drive out. Two little tabs here. Push towards like a V. And then lift it up. Hard drive comes out. And then we're going to hook the cables right here. This is the power supply side. And this is the SATA cable. But let's go ahead and take that out. Here you have a fan that's on the hard drive. You just want to plug that from the motherboard. There's a little tip on here to squeeze that and it comes off. So if you see here, there's a little squeeze button there. Now because this case is so small, they decided to put a fan on the hard drive itself so you can actually get a cool experience without having much ventilation. Now here's the video card. You just want to lift this little tab up here. That opens up. And then there's another tab back here in the back. You want to pull that towards you upwards and then you should be able to pull the video card out. Okay, this little box is where the CPU is. So that's going to give you all your power. But if you notice it was so dirty in the front, we're going to just pull all this out and we're going to recondition everything. So you need some type of screwdriver. This is a Phillips head, uh, but the one I have is small enough to work, so let's go ahead and unscrew that. And then there should be another one on the bottom. And if you can see in there, we're just taking this small one out on the bottom. Then we're going to take this off. 
Now the reason we do this, see this uh, compound is actually very dried out. You want to make sure you clean all this out and put brand new compound on it. So let's go ahead and put this to the side. And you can see right there, there's a lot of dust in there. Really gross stuff. So I'm gonna put this over here. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this whole motherboard out. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I wanna make sure I get as much dust and dirt out of this machine as I can. If you actually look in here, there's a screw here. There's a screw here. A screw here. And there's no one hidden back there. But look for anything that's actually attached to the metal of the chassis. Now some people ask me why I don't use the anti-static ring. It's because usually if you stay still and you just touch the metal from time to time, you're actually not going to really damage the motherboard. But the safest way is to get a wrist, a wrist handle and clip it onto a metal part. So let me go ahead and get this started. Put that to the side. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this power supply out as well. Now you have a clip over here. Just slide that out. Now there's three screws on the back here. It's going to be almost impossible to find a power supply like this to upgrade it. So again, I want to use this machine mainly for gaming. The last thing we need to do is get this fan out of here. So there's a little clip right here. Just pull it. And then make sure you're okay pulling the wire right there. And now we got the fan out. So we got all the pieces out. I would say leave what's in there left in there because we don't need to take this out. We're going to clean all this dust out of here, clean the bottom of the motherboard, clean the motherboard and everything. So let's get to the next step. Shot back. Now, if you make it, let everything dry, you can use 91% alcohol if you want to get a little more in detail. But make sure you let it dry. The easy way to get this off is to uh, take something like a Kleenex, apply pressure, and just wipe it off.
Now, I'm going to clean this out of here. Again, you can use spray or use the vacuum vac. On the bottom of this one is pretty cool. You can slip this little tab up. Whole fan comes right out. It's Q tips. Last up is the video card. reassembling process. Let's take the fan. Lock it in place. Take the ribbon cable that came off the fan. Plug that back in. I'm going to take the power supply. Put that back in. And you have the little bottom part right there that locks in. Right there. That's going to be the three black screws. Take this and stick it back underneath here. There we go. Let's take the motherboard, put that back in. Now we're going to go ahead and plug this cable back into the motherboard. Plug this cable back into the motherboard right here. Plug, plug the power supply back in. Now we can put all the screws back in. So this piece right here actually holds the CPU piece that goes over here so you just want to put that on all right now you have these little cables here the white one goes right here and the black one goes right here. Okay, one thing I failed to mention, these two screws right here needs to stay empty because the screws right here goes into those spots right there. So just keep that in mind whenever you're putting this together. All right, so this is uh, for the CPU chip to keep it all nice and cool. It's just, uh, if you go to any computer store, just tell them I need to put a processor on, and uh, this is how you do it. Whoa.
So I just put a little bit over here on that and put a little bit on here. This is set up for one processor, so that's why it's kind of empty, but you can get these in bigger uh, amounts. I get corner to corner if possible, but whenever you put this on, it's going to squeeze, so. So there you go. And then just a little bit here. And then you're going to lock it into this little loop here. And then you're going to make sure all the cables out of the way and then push downwards. From there, just put the screws back tight. And then do the other side. There we go. Nice and clean. I don't know if you can see it, there's a CD-ROM there. And then this one, I'm gonna reassemble to the hard drive rack. So, you see that nice and clean? And just guide this through here. Back here, you're going to plug this back into it. And then plug this to the white cable right there. Plug this back into the little black spot right there and it looks like this now we need to put this back in place so on the top here you have that little slot and then and that's it see the DVD ROM is going to go back here so take that Plug it there, the power, plug it there, to at least flat, and then snap it back in place. There we go, it's locked in. And then take the video card. And there's a white slot, a black slot right here. Make sure this is folded back. We're good. And then fold that back. Now this unit had some little caps on it. You can put those back on if you like. We'll cover up the VGA slot because it has an upgraded video card. And this guy right here. Right. Now as long as you have the RAM in there, it's ready to go. You take the back case. Hey guys, I just want to tell you I do appreciate you uh, supporting my YouTube channel. And I know this was a very long video. I hope I covered all the details for you that you need to know about this. In most Dell computers, if you actually look at them, they all come a parts similar to the same way you know so uh, I have another video I'll put the link below from the 755 upgrade that I made and uh, like my videos give me a thumbs up subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>